boys and girls, Miss Peterson here. Today I'm going to read you the story Fred and the Little Egg by Julia Rawlinson, illustrated by Jane Massey. In this story, Fred the Bear goes searching of an egg for his own to hatch. Let's see what happens. The title page, Fred and the Little Egg. Swans were nesting on the lake near the den. Fred hid in the reeds and watched them. They built soft nests of sticks and moss and laid large white eggs in them. Fred wanted to hatch an egg too, so he trotted home to the den. How do I make an egg? asked Fred. Bears have cubs, not eggs, said Mommy. Then what can I put in my nest? asked Fred. Bears have dens, not nests, said Mommy. <clears throat> Fred still wanted to hatch an egg. He wondered if he could borrow one. He trotted back down the hill to the lake and splish splashed over to ask a swan. The swan hissed fiercely as he came close. Fred jump, bump, splish, splash backwards. He pilt, picked himself up, shook the water from his fur, and squished back to shore. I wasn't gonna hurt it, he grumbled, stomping up the hill. I'd have cared for it just as well as a swan. He plodded into the woods. Among the leaves, a shiny acorn suddenly caught his eye. A teeny weeny brown egg, thought Fred. But, hmm, who is here to hatch it? There was no one hidden behind the trees. Fred began to hope. Nobody answered when he called. He gave an excited squeak. He only smell, oh, he smelled only flowers on the breeze and hugged himself with happiness. The little brown egg was all alone and needed somebody to care for it. Boys and girls, Fred thinks this acorn seed is an egg. Hmm. I'll build you a beautiful nest, Fred said as he carried the acorn to the lake. He built a nest of sticks and moss and settled the acorn into it. He very carefully climbed on top and crack, crack, splash went the nest. Fred landed with a squish in the cold, wet mud with the acorn squashed underneath him. Are you all right, little egg? asked Fred, scrambling in the mud. He gently scooped out the acorn and cradled it in his paws. I'll build you a warmer nest, said Fred, trotting to a sunny hollow. He built a nest of grass and flowers and settled the acorn into it. He very carefully climbed on top and chitter, chatter, chitter, went a squirrel. I won't let anybody eat my egg, said Fred with his fiercest stare. Bears don't have eggs, said the squirrel, poking at Fred's nest. This bear does, said Fred firmly, giving his rumbliest growl. The squirrel jumped, waved his tail, and scurried crossly away. With a bounce, bounce, bump, a baby rabbit tumbled into the hollow. Do you want to come and chase butterflies, she asked brushing earth from her ears. Sorry, I'm busy, said Fred importantly. I have to hatch my egg. Bears don't have eggs, said the rabbit, peering at Fred's nest. This bear does, said Fred proudly, and so I have to hatch it. With a skitter, 
A skitter, skitter, skip. A little deer skidded down to join them. Do you want to come and jump some beams, she asked, shaking flowers from her fur. I do, but he's busy, said the, rab said the rabbit. He has to hatch his egg. Bears don't have eggs, said the deer, nibbling at Fred's nest. This bear does, said the rabbit knowingly, and so he has to hatch it. The deer and the rabbit skitter bounced away, and Fred sat still among the flowers. He sat and he sat as the, ro the sun rose high and the hollow grew hotter and hotter. He sat and he sat as lunchtime passed and his tummy began to rumble. He sat and he sat through the sleepy afternoon with insects buzzing around him. He sat and he sat until the sun began to set and his tummy was rumblier than thunder. Then he picked up the acorn and carried it gently all the way back to the den. My little brown egg won't hatch, said Fred, feeling very tired and grumpy. That, that won't hatch into a bird. It will grow into a tree. Like that tall oak tree, said Mommy. If a tree hatched under me, I'd bounce up to the clouds, said Fred. He put down the acorn quickly. You don't have to sit on it. You just have to plant it in the earth, like this, said Mommy. So I just sit here and wait, asked Fred. It will take a long time, said Mommy. I've got nothing else to do until dinner. A very long time, said Mommy. Longer than dinner time? What about bedtime? Much, much longer, said Mommy. Fred didn't think he could sit still for that long. So he looked at the earth thoughtfully. Will my egg be all right if I leave it? It will be safe down there, said Mommy. What if it goes, what if it gets lonely without me? Worms will tell its stories, said Mommy. <sighs> I'll miss you, little brown egg, said Fred. I'll visit you every day. You'll soon have a, t have a little green tree, said Mommy. The little brown egg was silent. So Fred padded off to the tall oak tree, which rustled in leaves and welcome. He climbed into the branches and looked down at the lake where the swans were sitting quietly. Hmm, I'm glad I don't have to sit on my egg, said Fred, swaying happily. Far below him, safe in the earth, the acorn began to grow. Isn't that a nice story, boys and girls? I hope you have such a great day of learning today.